When you get your Raspberry Pi Linux computer, you want to connect a power supply, monitor, keyboard, and mouse to start up with your Linux distribution. And you can use whatever you have around the house, a keyboard, you could pick up one of our monitors in the Adafruit shop. But we also found this really cool gadget that makes it easy and cheap to make your own Raspberry Pi laptop. It's this Motorola Atrix 4G laptop dock. And it's designed to go with the Atrix 4G phone that connects here with micro USB and micro HDMI. That phone has now been discontinued, so you can pick up this guy pretty cheap online. And it has a battery pack on board, a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse, which is everything you need to make your Raspberry Pi laptop. All you need to do is splice a couple cables to connect right here, and it's my pleasure to show you how to do that. Let's get started. This laptop dock will set you back about 60 bucks on clearance, and we spotted it on sites like Deal Extreme, eBay, and even Amazon. We need to connect here to the micro USB and micro HDMI jacks, and so I picked up a micro USB extension cable, and we'll use that to splice together with a regular USB A end uh, to connect power and keyboard and mouse. And then I also picked up a micro HDMI female to female coupler with a micro HDMI to regular HDMI adapter. That way we don't have to splice any HDMI cables. It's a lot of wires. Begin by cutting your micro USB cable in half and then stripping off the exterior coating on the wires. Place a large diameter piece of heat shrink tubing over the female end of the micro USB cable and begin peeling the casing away from the wires so that you can make individual connections. Still working on that female micro USB end, carefully strip the insulation off of the inner wires, red, black, white, and green. Prepare the other connectors in a similar way, except they'll each only connect to two of the four wires. This is the USB-A connector that's going to go to the trackpad and keyboard, so we're only going to connect the white and green wires. And don't forget to add that heat shrink tubing before you solder them together. The method I like to use for splicing these wires is to tin each end with a little bit of solder and then position them near each other and remelt that solder so it flows between the two wires. Repeat that process twice more with the male micro USB connector and you only need to connect the black and red wires to provide power to the Raspberry Pi. There's also an uninsulated set of wires or foil that's for shielding inside the USB cable and I had some extra so I decided to connect it. Hey, why not? Lastly, slide your giant piece of heat shrink tubing over the whole big mess. Then just connect your Frankenstein cable to the laptop dock and your uh, HDMI adapter chain and press the any key to get started. So I hope you'll go forth and make your own Raspberry Pi laptops and show them to me in the Adafruit Flickr pool or on our weekly show and tell on Google Plus Saturday nights. And don't forget to watch the rest of our Raspberry Pi videos, both our own and other people's projects from the blog. And as always, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube so you never miss a video.